let's do some cardiology today. You may have heard of these things called J waves, and they're actually super interesting. Basically, after the QRS complex, usually where the QRS complex eventually comes back to baseline, that's known as the J point. That is often the place where you can see something called a J wave. It's right here. When you see this J wave, one thing that you should be thinking about is something called hypothermia. Here's a formal EKG with the J wave, and what you'll be able to see is that there's obviously a shivering artifact because the patient might be shivering. They might also be bradycardia, especially if someone is super cold. And when you have that J wave, that is a sign that the patient probably is hypothermic. And the cool part is, let's say you saw the EKG and you didn't know that, by seeing the EKG, you might be able to say, hey, we should get a temperature on this patient and make sure that they're not hypothermic. So now you know the importance of J waves and also the nuances of the J point. Follow for more. Peace.